I'm Dick Niffing. This is the Wednesday evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts with weather. And we do have a storm headed in our direction. It's sitting off to our west. It will roll through over the next couple of days. It's not necessarily going to bring soaking rains to the whole state, but some scattered showers will be possible and much cooler temperatures. That'll be the big change that you'll notice as we drive a cold front through the state throughout the day tomorrow and into Friday as well. The good news is the showers will really diminish if we see that many at all over the next few days, and it looks like the weekend will be very nice. Albuquerque police officer Brad Aaronsfield took the stand in his own defense at his trial in federal court Wednesday. Aaronsfield is accused of tipping off a friend last fall that the friend was the subject of a criminal investigation, then lying to FBI agents when they questioned him about that. The friend, car shop owner Sean Bryan, testified yesterday that Aaronsfield did alert him about a drug and stolen property investigation aimed at Bryan and some of his employees. On the stand Wednesday, Aaronsfield admitted that he told Brian police were looking at him and some of his employees, but Aaronsfield insists he didn't go into detail. Detail, rather. APD suspended Aaronsfield after he was charged and he recently resigned from the force. Police say the gun that killed a four-year-old boy yesterday was his father's. Ken Daniels, the father, is a federal agent. He works for the National Nuclear Security Administration, protecting shipments of high-risk cargoes. It was his personal gun, not his service weapon, that his four-year-old son Luke got his hands on at the family home yesterday afternoon. Police say it was in a box that the father believed was secure, but that the boy somehow got it and accidentally shot himself. APD has not charged anyone, but investigators will send their report to the DA for review. New Mexico does not have a law that regulates how guns must be stored in homes. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.